Alrighty. How's it going, guys? It's OG Vikings here. Thought I would uh, throw on a few maps together and show you guys uh, some good spots to throw some camera coins um, to get the 300 knockout and the uh, trusty old Mac 10. Now, there's going to be a bit of a grind. Um, I suggest you do this on TDM, seeing TDM is the best place to do it. Uh, conquest. Fair enough, if, if you can get to some, to some good spots. It, it's, a lot of people start to spot, um, especially within Australia. A lot of people spot and take kills and all that kind of crap. So, my advice to you is um, play TDM and on Everglades. Jump up into this Grapple spot right here. right here. All you need is grappling hook. Go straight up and place one camera looking straight in that direction. So all the dudes that stack up on that hill there and the and the one over there are all gonna get spotted up. And place your up your your other one right here. Now, you can stay here and pretty much try and get kills and all that if you want. Um, I suggest you go away. Like, just go to the other side of the map, let your cameras do, do the work. Um, obviously, if you're used to uh, spotting, try not, try not to uh, press Q. Anything, just, just, just unbind it if you can't do it. Um, or if you're on console or something, then yeah, just, just don't. Don't press uh, spot. Um, and every time you die, obviously you get another two cameras. Now those two cameras will stay where you've placed them unless somebody shoots them off. But what you want to do is every time you respawn, you get you get to place one more camera, so you can actually have three. Now that third camera, I'd suggest um, you put in a in a another place, which is. Obviously, where, where the enemy spawns, and you know, friendlies don't have enough time to um, to press Q to spot them because they're you know they're, they're spawning right in front of them. So, say if, if you're setting up like a, a kill zone, which is pretty much what you're doing, um, and you place the camera, okay, where's the camera, where's a decent spot? There we go. All right, right there would be fine. So pretty much you'll get this whole area around here, um, that hill, and your camera is going to be getting that hill and that hill as well. So your next your next thing to do is pretty much stay on that side of the map, right down there. Now this map here is also another really good map. Get them camera coins. I've got I've gotten a maximum of three on this map on a good day. Uh, so I need to quickly take you through where you need to go. Place them. Lethal force is approved for all suspects, all situation, all units. Now our main spawn point is pretty much like just around here and that uh, cafeteria or restaurant thing there. So what I'd do is I'd, I would uh, shoot those wooden planks down and I would place a camera right there. Pretty much just to get uh, all the people that spawned by that truck, the cafeteria and all up that road. So that's pretty much got like a, a good area of view um, of people being spotted. Um, and I'd place the second one right here. So pretty much again, it's another spawn point right there. Um, and everybody up and down that road. Um, bear in mind, I think the cameras only spot up to about 70 meters. Um, but I'd say I'd say pretty much to the end of, of that uh, that fence line just there is um, its its limit. The amount of people that are going to walk across there though is uh, going to be pretty high, especially on TDM. So that th that camera won't do as much spotting as the one on the left, 
um, seeing that that, that uh, the one on the left is more central spot for enemies to, to spawn in. Um, and yeah, let me just redeploy and get that third <gasps> camera. Alright, lovely, that's for me. Good spot here. Okay, and then pretty much the third the third spot I would put the camera is right here. So the camera is will, will now do double the job. So you've got that one up there. Right there. Um that's spotting them all here, as well as the cafeteria. Um and up to I'd say about Probably about that house, and then you've got and then you've got this camera here, which is uh, doing double the job, spotting anybody that's along this area, um, and focusing pretty much on this whole region just here, <laughs> which which is really it's, it's a high activity spot. A lot of enemies do tend to run through there. Um, and yeah, your your best job then would be to either you know stay up in Bravo flag. I think this is conquest Bravo flag. Um, and just just focus on enemies that are you know up on that that house um, or the middle house, um, and try not to kill anybody that walks in your in your camera. Pretty much. Okay, so here we have bank job, and on this map, I find um, the best place to put the, these cameras is uh, along the, along this spawn point right here. Seeing uh, a lot of people do spawn here, so that that camera there um, really doesn't matter if you put it there or say here, you can get it place or to look in the right direction. You pretty much want it facing that direction. Um, and that's going to capture everybody that's like in the middle over here. Um, and the second place you want to place the camera is right over here on this pier. Put it nice and high there. A lot of people spawn like right here, here, behind the pot plants, um, and pretty much all behind the, um, the cylinders. And um, just let me respawn to grab the third camera. Just do remember, you do get to place three cameras, which I think, I think a lot of people aren't aware of yet. Um, and the third place I'd say to, to place it, would, it's pretty much like what you want to do is try and try and place it in a kill zone, like I like I showed you on the first map. Um, set up like a kill zone where everything in the in the middle uh, gets up. spotted up. Now I place the third camera up on this roof over here. Now you don't need a grapple to get up there. Um, and a lot of a lot of enemies spawn right there, and there's a ladder just there if you need to get up. Um, if you don't have a grappling hook, and pretty much just just set the uh, the camera to face that direction. Um, I'll get rid of this tree right here so you can get a better idea of what's happening. So pretty much all that's doing is capturing that spawn point behind the truck, um, and so pretty much like a whole front of that building and that there is going to have this whole area here covered which is a high spawn um, place for, for this map on TDM um, and then once again all you need to do is just go over to somewhere which is obviously not in that area and um, yeah play TDM kill, kill people um, do, do your thing uh, hopefully teammates don't Press spot and you can uh, you can get those those camera coins. Now, I've, I've managed to get two on on this map um, just by placing them in those, in those areas. And um, yeah, now for a bit of insight on say the 300 knockout, um, if that's what you're going for, it is it, it it can be a good weapon. Sometimes it can't be. I mean. Mid range, yes, it's good. You can kill. I mean, close range. Sorry, it, it is good. Yeah, you can kill people reasonably quickly. The straight pull bolt is um pretty fast. It's almost, it's almost just as fast as the scout elite. And yes, if they are in this if, in this uh like this close, 
you are going to kill him in one shot if you hit him in the upper, uh, upper body. Um, leg shots will leave him on like 9% unless they're already weak. And if you're going to be doing mid-range shooting, then I suggest you run around with it um, on 200 or zeroed in at 200. As you see, if I hold my breath, um, it, it fires just above the reticle. Um, and that, that's roughly at about, I'd say, 50 meters. Um, and then if you want to do, say, I'd say it's about roughly around 70 meters. If you're going to be doing, like, say, 300 meter uh, shots, then I suggest to have, have it zeroed at 300 meters. Again, I'll hold my breath and fire. And so at 70 meters, it, it fired just above the crosshair. So, yeah, it's, it's your choice if you want to be using an 8x scope with it or the uh, or the ACOG or for longer or something that's that's uh, smaller. Um, but in reality, uh, for me, I really don't use this weapon. I mean, I've got it and I just don't like it. The bullet velocity is too slow. Um, so I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bother if I was you to go for the uh, the 300 knockout. Um, but what I would say to go for is this beautiful Mac 10. Now this thing is a beast. It is amazing. Um, I run it with a suppressor, extended mag, and I don't use a scope or a sight. I don't need it. Um, purely, I don't I don't even bother aiming down sights. There's no need to. All I do is just hold it, hold the trigger, and you see how quickly that fired and to pretty much just aim down that there is all you really need and you can destroy any enemies at say a fair distance I'd say this is probably about the longest you want to keep it at okay that was a bit of a weird reload oh okay I'm lagging that's why um, and yeah back 10 definitely go for holy shit there's some lag here Okay, sorry guys, I, I jumped into a, um, a server from Thailand, there wasn't any Australian ones. Um, and yeah, so go for this, I hope uh, I hope it all works out for you, hope you get those camera coins. Uh, if you'd like to, if you'd like, if you'd like me to go through some more maps to, um, to help you out, uh, then just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll go through and play some of them. Um, and uh, yeah, happy hunting. I hope you get what you want, whether it's the 300 or the, or the Mac 10, and have a lovely day. Peace. I'll catch you in the next video.